Hey. Uh, so three years ago, I was exhausted, okay? Tired, like sleepy, like I can't do it no more. I was dating everybody. I mean, the Keebler elf from the tree, uh, the trainer that lived with his mom, uh, dude that was missing part of his roof. Like I dated everybody. <laughs> The guy that left me for a one-legged chick, like it was just going on and on. And I was exhausted. I was like, I can't, I'm done. I'm not dating, I need to take a break. And also had just kind of really gotten to comedy and I was like, I need to start taking this more seriously because I'm gonna be a star, so I don't have time. And <laughs> I was doing comedy every night, you know, in basements and whatnot and just killing it. <laughs> just doing so well. And so I was like, let me, let me party a little bit, let me celebrate. And I decided to go to Central Park for this party. Um, the beer was free, so I was like, deaf going. Um, so I went to Central Park and I'm with my friends and I'm drinking and I'm living it up. And I look across the way and there was this beautiful girl with curly, like bouncy, Pantene Proveen hair, just bouncing, just killing it. And I look over and I was like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And she's looking at me like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And I was like, I know, thank you. And I'm drinking, I'm drunk. And I'm like, I would make out a ha, ha, ha. And I'm just saying that because I'm wasted. And apparently she must have heard me because she came over. And she started talking to me and giving me those eyes like, I'm interested. And immediately I was like, I'm really busy. I'm a comedian. Let her know like, I don't have time. And then she was like, I like comedy. I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> I could do that. You know, I want some more fans in my life. So I tell her, you know, I'm, I'm doing comedy every night. And she's like, well, where are you gonna show? I was like, uh, you know, check my webpage. I didn't have one. <laughs> so, <laughs> check my Instagram, I need more followers. So she takes my information down. And she's like, I would love to see you do comedy. I was like, okay, you'll see me. And so it's done, we leave, I leave the Central Park. I'm not thinking about it no more. But I am thinking about her a little bit because I, you know, I've dated women before, you know, only on the weekends when <laughs> shots were involved. But this time I was like, I, I think I actually like this girl, you know, and we were going back and forth and she ended up going to a comedy show, didn't even let me know, just came, just showed up. I was like, stalker. Uh, <laughs> but it was good, I had a good set because I'm hilarious and I was like, thank God I killed it. Because if I bombed, man, that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> so she's there with a friend, and her friend was like blocking. She didn't really want us to prosper. Uh, when she went to the bathroom, she's like, I feel like I know you. And I was like, because I'm a star, yeah. She's like, no, I think you dated my friend before. And I was like, what? She named the name, and I was like, oh, homeless hair? Yeah, I dated him. And he was like, oh, you, he says that you give the best head. I said, a word? You gonna do this here? Oh, you are definitely a hater, but also, he said that? Oh, wow. Um, he said that? That's quite nice. <laughs> so we hang out. We're <laughs> after the show. I, I pay for their food. You know, real gentle woman like, and just treating her right. And we're going back and forth. We're talking on the phone for hours, like two, three hours in the night. And like as a New Yorker and as somebody who's older than 25, like who does that? Who does that? Like I have to wait on the phone with a representative for more than two minutes. I'm hanging up. Like why? I'm talking to her for three hours. So I'm feeling like I like her, but like I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm doing comedy every freaking night, making people laugh for $20. Like I'm doing it. I don't have time for a relationship. And also I was like, I don't know if I really want to be with a woman, you know? But I've dated both sexes and it doesn't matter what gender you are, as long as you're emotionally unavailable. That's my type, you know? <laughs> That's my... If you dead inside, ooh, I'm hot like that. Ooh, empty, I love it. <laughs> hollow, I love a hollow person. Uh, so we go out one night. Well, actually I went to work and she met me at my job and then we hung out and we were at this, this real fancy, you know, diner. Uh, I'm not gonna name the diner, but it was real fancy. Like they had coffee and utensils, it was cute. Uh, she's giving her the world and we hanging out, we making out and I, I'm like, oh my God, like 
I really, really like this girl. And so, you know, I don't want to give it up because, <laughs> you know, I usually do that. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna make you wait. Um, so I leave this date at this diner because I was like, this is a date, you know, I paid for it, this is a date. <laughs> so I leave, I get in a cab and maybe 10, 15 minutes into the cab ride, my head is flying into the partition, y'all, flying. And the first thing I was like, oh, my hair, is my hair okay? Is, it, is the wig all right? Is it attached still? <laughs> and then the second thing was like my teeth. I was like, you know, I was like, is my teeth all there? And both of them were attached, it was great. Uh, but I had just gotten in a car accident in my taxi. I got in a car accident and it was a hit and run. And it's real New York, like the taxi driver just left me. He didn't even care. I was like, is he gonna check on me in my wig? No, he did not. He trying to catch the dude, but I was like, it's a hit and run, he's gone. Um, so I'm crying profusely. I'm like, does anybody care? And it's like, no, this is New York. Nobody care about your tears. Nobody care if you bleeding. I was bleeding, like my mouth was all busted and I, I get out of the cab and I'm bleeding and I'm crying. And there's a man like bleeding and crying too. He's like, nobody cares, this is New York. So I'm like, damn man, I, I just got in an accident. I don't have any insurance, what the hell I'm gonna do? I was like, definitely not getting the ambulance, but like kind of getting the ambulance. So I call, I call all my emergency contacts. I have five, five. I had Roxy, I had Anthony, I had Sandra, I had Nicole, I had the bathroom attendant at Lavo. Like I had, I had emergency contacts, right? And none of them picked up. Not one of those people picked up. I even text one of them, but like, yo, I got an eight ball. Didn't even, nothing. That, that usually gets Anthony to the scene immediately. He didn't care. I was like, wow, my emergency contacts ain't shit, man. So I was like, oh, I got to call. I got to call this girl that I just started seeing that I have feelings for. I got to call her. So I call her. She pick up on the first fucking ring. I said, wow, thirsty. You are so, can you let it ring for a minute, girl? Damn. Act like you were doing something else. Like, let the answer machine play. Like, what's up? Like, pick up on the first ring. I was like, she is crazy. <laughs> But also like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> you know, like she picked up and I'm crying. I'm like, I'm just in a car accident. Like I'm bleeding, I'm by myself. <gasps> Can you come? And literally like eight minutes, boom, she's there. And I was like, what? Like, do you have a magic carpet? How the hell? It's New York City. How the hell did you get here this fast? Unless you put this accident together like that. <laughs> that I'm thinking now, cause she's nuts. <laughs> So she gets to the scene, she got her friends there. I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on, wait a minute. Like, cause I guess she had met up with her friends. Her friends are there, they Snapchatting, they like just putting filters on my busted lip. It was crazy. <laughs> just real messy. <laughs> so I'm crying, like, just really, I was like, I wanna win an award for this, you know, just in case there's a casting director on the corner of New York City ready to cast me in something. I'm there, I'm putting the waterworks on. So then the ambulance come, and I'm crying and at the time I thought I looked crazy because I had this busted lip and my hair was crooked and I felt like my eyebrows were burnt off. It was nuts. And he comes up to me and he's like, mommy, mommy, why are you crying? You still look really, really good. Like giving me a compliment. I was like, thank you ER dude, uh, that's cute. <laughs> and then he had to check me because you know I was in a car accident and he started touching me in between my chest. And he's like, don't worry, I, I just wanna make sure you're not broken inside. And I was like, too late, <laughs> too late. <laughs> it don't have nothing to do with this accident, but you can say, put it on the sheet that I am broken. <laughs> I am broken inside. <laughs> so we get in the ambulance and she's there with her friends. We go to the hospital. I don't even need all this. Like, it's just a busted lip. Like I had needle and thread on me. Like I could have just stitched it up myself. We go to the we go to the hospital, and it's in it's in the hood. And you know, there's they didn't care. They didn't care about my lip. They didn't care about my crying. They didn't care that like half my nipple was out. Like there nobody was trying to take care of me. And so we were in the emergency room for like three hours. Right? I was like, they gonna come see me because I'm, I'm a comedian that's on the scene every night. They know who, they gonna treat me like Kevin Hart in this bitch, uh, but they didn't. They made me wait even longer. And so finally they, get, they see me and uh, you know, I'm playing like I'm hurt because I'm also trying to catch a case or whatever. And 
the nurse is trying to talk to me and I'm trying to act like I can't speak. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm just real dramatic. And so the girl that I'm seeing starts speaking on behalf of me. And I was like, look at you, <laughs> look at you. And she starts answering all these questions, like where I live, what's my favorite color. And I was like, what? Wait, hold on, how do you know all this shit? <laughs> Did you Google me? Like, what's going on? And then I was like, wait, you Googled me? Okay, great. Uh, I am so famous. <laughs> so she's answering all this stuff for me. And I guess she was annoyed like I was because we had been there for a long time and I really just needed my lips stitched up. That's really all I needed. And so her and the nurse are kind of going back and forth and the nurse starts getting annoyed because she kind of like, well, why are you answering these questions? So the nurse is like, so who are you? And that's when I was like, yeah, what? What's going on? <laughs> y'all fighting? What's going on? Ladies, ladies, there's enough of me to go around. Why y'all fighting over me? She's like, who are you? And so this girl that I'm seeing is like, I'm her girlfriend. And then I was like, wait, hold on, what? Huh? What you say? <laughs> that's when I started talking, because I was like, we didn't discuss <laughs> that this is official yet. So she tells her that, I'm her girlfriend and we together. And then the nurse was like, okay, love wins, <laughs> you know? Hashtag love wins and then she leaves. And then I'm in there like, wait, are we together? Like, are, I mean, you did come here at the drop of a dime, but like, you didn't talk to me first. So I'm there and she went out for a minute and she comes back and I'm discharged and this woman, this woman got me a bacon, egg, and cheese. And I just feel like, are you trying to trap me? Like, what's going on? When somebody gets you a bacon, egg, and cheese, something is up, okay? Because that is the key to my heart. Extra bacon, what? That crispy, chewy cut? Oh my God, girl, where delicatessen did you get this from? Uh, she gives me a bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> and we, we get in that cab, and it's crazy, because why am I getting, I just, I'm traumatized. I'm tra I was just in a car accident. Why am I getting in this cab? Uh, Cause she paid, so she's this woman who's paying for the cab. I'm in there, and I, I try to bite into the bacon and cheese, and right away she's trying to talk. She's like, you know, I said that you know we're in a relationship, but I just said that for this, you know, the nurse to stop getting on me. And she was like, but if you don't want to be my girlfriend, I totally understand. And I said, wait, hold in front of the bacon and get you. Hold on, girl, within a minute. Can I eat my sim? That's rude. And then the taxi, get, the taxi's looking back. So are y'all together or what? What's going on? He moved the partition. So what's up? What y'all doing? Y'all, y'all together? Y'all gay? What's up? <laughs> y'all look like sisters. It's crazy. Um, so I, I was like, let me just eat some more of this bacon and cheese and think about it. Mm. I was like, well, I do like her. Uh, I could talk to her for hours. Um, she pays her phone bill because I called her and it, it was working. Your <laughs> phone was working. That is the important thing in a relationship. Do they pay their phone bill on time? Okay. Because I've had some people that I'll call them and it was been disconnected. It was like, doo -doo -doo. I was like, oh, I got to break up with you. This is terrible. Um, pay that T Mobile. <laughs> she pays her phone bill. She, can't, she came at a drop of a dime. She was in the ambulance with everything. She bought me a bacon and cheese. I'm listing all this stuff because you gotta you gotta have a list. You gotta like, why should I date this person? Does this person make me happy? Uh, do they have both their legs? Like stuff like that. That's what you. Do they know my favorite color? She knew that shit. I was like, wow. She, was she watching my videos on YouTube? What's going? Like all this stuff. So then I said to myself, I was like, you know what? I should. Yeah, girl, you my girl. You my girl, right? I mean, she's also my girl, but now she's also my emergency contact. So honestly, it is a win-win. And I'm saying if you ever feel like giving up on dating and you're just tired, just know that you're a car accident away from a relationship. <laughs> Thank you very much.